Hello all, welcome to Let's Tute. To get more such videos, do subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon to never miss an update from us. We also have courses from different subjects. Do check them out on our website www.letstude.com. So, let's start with today's session. We started off with the human circulatory system and the three components of it. The pumping organ, heart, the network of tubes, the blood vessels and blood. In our previous session, we studied about the heart in detail. In today's session, let's learn more about the other components of the circulatory system. The network of tubes that circulate the blood throughout the body are called blood vessels. These blood vessels are of different types. The ones that carry oxygen-rich blood away from the heart are called arteries. The blood vessels that carry carbon dioxide-rich blood from different body parts back to the heart are called veins. The tiny blood vessels that connect the arteries and the veins are called capillaries. If we lay out the blood vessels in a line, they would stretch for nearly 62,000 miles. That's enough to circulate the earth almost three times. That's how vast the network is. Let's compare some of their features. Of all the three blood vessels, the arteries have the thickest wall. Can you think why is it so? It is to withstand the pressure of the blood pumped by the heart. Veins are thin-walled and capillaries are the thinnest. Talking about the lumen, arteries have a narrow lumen. The vein has a comparatively large or wide lumen and capillaries have an extremely narrow lumen. It is just a single cell wide. We know the veins carry blood towards the heart and to prevent the backward flow of the blood, they have valves. Valves ensure unidirectional flow of the blood. Arteries and capillaries do not have valves. Arteries are situated deep inside the body whereas the veins are superficially present. The bluish blood vessel that we see beneath our skin are the veins. Capillaries are situated in the terminals of the artery or a vein. Let's now talk about blood. Blood is a fluid that constantly circulates in our human body, transporting nutrients, different gases to each and every cell of the body. It also carries waste from different parts of the body. But did you know that blood is actually a tissue? A fluid connective tissue. Just like any other tissue, it is made up of different types of cell, but its matrix is fluid. To study the composition of blood, let's carry out a small experiment. We collect some amount of blood from a person in a tube and allow it to stand still for a few hours. We can see that the cells deposit at the bottom and the fluid is there on the top. This yellowish-white fluid is called plasma. 55% of the blood is composed of plasma. The remaining 45% is the cellular component which includes the red blood cells, RBCs or the erythrocytes, the white blood cells or WBCs or the leukocytes and platelets. But what gives blood its red color? To find the answer to this, watch our video on why is blood red in color. The link for the same is added in the description box below. Do watch it. Now, let's find out the functions of each of these components. Plasma is the main component of the blood and contains water, nutrients, ions, protein and waste mixed in it. The RBCs are responsible for carrying oxygen and carbon dioxide. The RBCs contain a pigment called hemoglobin, which bind with oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules. The WBCs are part of the body's defense system and helps to fight infections and diseases. The platelets helps in the clotting of the blood. Alright friends, that is it for today's session. We have now completed the major components of the circulatory system. But 
there is another system that runs parallelly in the body and is a part of both circulatory and immune systems to find out what that is do tune in to our next session i hope this session was informative and you like it if yes please give us a thumbs up before you leave take a look at the online courses hosted on our platform www.letstude.com see you next time until then keep watching keep learning and subscribe to let's tute we make it easy